Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. This is just going to be a quick lesson to show you guys how to display some text on the Bricks um, LCD screen and then how to also write a program to react to button presses on the brick so you don't need to attach another touch sensor. You can just use the buttons on the brick. So let's see how we can do that. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to start a brand new program and we're going to um, insert a display block and attach it to the start block. Now the display block, what it does is it allows you to display something on the screen and you can either display text or shapes or images um, so we're just gonna display some text and we're gonna choose pixels because we want to specify where we want to position um, our text using pixels and um, so the first option is clear screen so if the screen is cleared it will clear everything that was on it before the X and the Y refers to the coordinates of where you want to position your text. So let's say we want some text to appear starting on the left hand side so X will be 0 and Y um, vertically let's specify a number let's say 20 pixels down okay 20 pixels down and um, color let's just leave the color and let's say we want the text to be bold and we can specify the text here okay so let's just um, say the text is press middle button press middle button and let's let's display some more text so drag another display block on and this time we're going to say um, display another line of text and let's display to end program okay so press middle button to end program now this line to end program is gonna appear a little bit lower than this press middle button so let's make it the Y coordinates let's say 40 right 40 pixels down the screen so zero, 00 is the top left of the screen so we're going to make it we're going to make the word start on the left hand side but 40 pixels down and let's make this um, uh, same font as before so press middle button to end program and then let's add in a weight block so what the weight block does is it allows you to choose a sensor and it won't proceed beyond this point until this sensor senses something so the brick we're gonna use the brick button compare and that means we're gonna wait until the middle button so the center button senses a bump okay so it's gonna say this on the screen and then we're gonna press a button and then the program will finish okay so let's try and download this to our program and see if it works hey guys so I'm going to run the program that I just created before so let's click the run button on our, on our um, Lego Mindstorms so you can see here it says press it says to end program that's it so what is wrong with our programming so what happened was on our programming what we needed to do what we needed to do on our program was instead of having this option ticked for to end program we needed to change that option to false because we don't want to clear the screen okay we don't want to clear the screen we got press middle button we want that line to stay there and then we want to add to the screen to end program and then it waits for the uh, button to be pushed 
So let's try that again. So let's click uh, download and run. And let's see what our robot's doing. Now you can see it says, okay, it says press middle button to end program. And what happens when we press the middle button? Program is ended. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial guys. See you next time.